look, we're not, we're not, we're not going, we're not going to argue about this. The fact of the matter is, if you had to ask me who's the more talented player, Josh Allen is more talented than Hurts. But who's the better winner? Who do I want leading my team? Who do I trust the most? Who am I rolling with? I got to pick Jalen Hurts. And we talked about this um, last week. Jalen Hurts doesn't wow you in any area. Doesn't have the biggest arm. Um, isn't the most athletic. All that kind of stuff. But he just knows how to play the position. He knows how to win the game. He knows when to push all the right buttons at the right time. And I'm rolling with that. Josh Allen is special. Hurts is the ultimate winner. Correct. And I'm, with, have to, I'm with it 100%. You have to. You, you have to determine what you want on your team. By the way, the, the reason also that I was more impressed, Lane was out. And yeah, but with point. Lane being out, he's ahead of a, a Niner all day. He's by far ahead of Purdy. Your guy looked like a turd without Trent Williams. So to me, when... The comment, and I made it. I go, how would he look without Lane? Well, that happened. And I'm like this. They wobbled. I thought they wobbled in the first half of the offensive line because they were giving up hits on him. They had a three and out right away. Mm -hmm. Get this. The entire right side, if you think about it, was gone from a year ago. Okay, Isaac mm -hmm. Samalo, Goddard, and Lane. That entire right side was gone. Mm -hmm. So it, when people go, that's the best old – It's that's why when you listen to guys like Tony Roman, they're going, you see these guys up here? These are the best. No, no, no. There were only three guys left from the original group from a year ago and a Hall of Fame right tackle and one of the top five tight ends is out. So he won with all that out of the game. And how he came back, like I said, you see, Tone, to me, it really comes down to one stat. There's two stats with him, the winning stat, and the touchdown stat. Because if you start looking into it and you start, like, like I said, look at what he's done the last two weeks. And you know what headline readers are going to do. Tone, they're going to go like this the last three weeks when it comes to Hurts. 200 yards against the Bills. 150 against KC. 207 versus Dallas. Some people are going to, I know voters. I know how some of these guys act because they have a preference on who they think is the better guy. And this is going to be all they need. That's why being 10 and one, you can't deny it. And the people he's beating. Yep. And also you just can't deny it. There's no denying what he's doing. And also I'm actually kind of glad the game. Yeah. Went into, I'm actually kind of glad the game went into overtime. Obviously I hope the Eagles win the game, but I'm glad it went into overtime because at that point it was the last game standing in the four o'clock slot. Everybody had to tune in. Everybody had to tune in when they found out everyone, everybody knew that when all the other games were over and there was only one four o'clock game left and the game went to overtime. Everyone had to lock in and see who was going to win that game. Everybody knew, everybody knew about that second half being what it was. And Jalen Hurts. It helps promote the Niner game. Exactly. Jalen Hurts gets his opportunity. He gets the ball and he drives down the field methodically. Did, uh, dishing at the Smith here, dishing at the game well here. He marched down that field so methodically. Um, even even on even on the um the the field goal drive in the in, in the uh, fourth quarter, he marched down that field. I think he only had maybe two timeouts. Marched down the field little by little. Okay, throw it to the out route. Okay, get out of bounds. Throw it over here. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. He just he was so patient and so they methodical. Nice managing the clock there too, and, and that that two minute drill. beautiful management of the yeah. clock. So I'm looking at Jalen Hurts as this dude like yo. I trust this dude with my kids, and I ain't got no kids. Like I, I, I trust this dude with, with, with the launch codes. You dig what I'm saying? <laughs> I trust, I trust this dude like with the beyond belief. And, um, again, say what you want about his skill set. Say what you want about him not being the most talented. I don't care about none of that. Talent don't win championships. Winners do. It's just that simple for me. Do you know what they're debating right now with Nick Wright? Somebody text me. Do you blame Josh Allen for that loss instead of looking at it like this? Instead of doing it like this, because he's a Mahomes honk. Yeah, so, yeah sure, definitely. And so he's got to look at it like, okay, they're lucky, they're this, they're that. Look at how they diminish Jalen Hurts. 
it's not about what Hurts did. And if you didn't want, if you didn't come away from that game going like this, I don't know, man. I think you need a shotgun to kill that guy because you're not just going to beat him. You know why? And and, and you're just not going to beat him. He, you, you know, you know, Tone, they have, they have conditioned themselves so much now, but I also think they're fatigued. And mm. part of the fatigue is follow me here. Mm-hmm. Kelsey illegal procedures. Um, the 178 in run offense, not from run teams. And right. some go, well, that's Josh Allen. Well, that's when you play good quarterbacks. You got to worry about those guys with play action. Those guys that move around. Hey, dude, what are you going to do against Lamar if you play against him in the Super Bowl? You're yeah, going to get that same kind of bullshit when you see Lamar, and he's a tad bit more electric in open space. Yeah. You know, um, I, I, I get the Bills. I get I get the running game um, more credit because um, if you really look at, look at the numbers, even prior to the game, they have a top 10 rush offense, believe it or not. I didn't know that. Yeah, but, but believe it or not, right, like this is actually a year where they actually can run the ball much better. Huh. Um, the kick cooks good. Yeah, yeah, I like I, I like him actually. He 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 runs very well, but you know, the all these na- these guys, what what they don't realize is, not only do they have a responsibility to carve these narratives out because they're national guys, they have a responsibility that they're not living up to. But it's okay. The fact of the matter is, the more they talk like this, the more it fuels the city, the more it fuels this organization, and it fuels the quarterback because they but they what they fail to realize is he operates at this level. He operates at this at this RPM. He's I used to being doubted at this guys, level. T- Tone, I just think these media guys sometimes just hate hardworking teams. I mm. mean, you know you what know, it is? No, no, no. You know what? You know what they hate? They hate things. See, I, I was talking to Rob about this earlier. The guy, the, most of these guys on TV now, they're analytics guys. They're analytics guys, right? And a lot of these guys, they hate what they can't measure. Oh. They, they hate what they can't quantify. If they can't put a number on it. If they don't have a stat for it, it doesn't. It, it's not real to them, or it doesn't make sense to them, or or it's luck to them, right? Luck. Look, look, look. They, they, they that word's been thrown around in Philadelphia. Now, I understand, now I understand they wore Kelly Green yesterday. I noticed the Irish colors, but but the fact of the matter is, luck. That's not luck. What you're seeing. How could here. that be luck? Again, like I said, they these guys on 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 the national scale, if they can't measure it. It, it it means nothing to them. Agreed. Everything about the Philadelphia Eagles goes beyond the numbers. Everything about the Philadelphia Eagles goes beyond measure, goes beyond analytics. Silo, you played this game before. What I, you I, guys I, did in Miami, unbelievable. You can't measure that. No, you can't it, put it, a it, number on that. It's 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 death before defeat kind of shit, and it's it it, it it totally is. However, I'm gonna bring it back to center here. Mm-hmm. Okay. I brought up 49 and 17 with Jim Kelly. All right. those things that you talk about, Tone, mm-hmm. all of the accomplishments, all of the wins. I follow you. All of it. They need one. They don't need 41. They, they don't need, need three. They need one. They need to validate this because to me, you're in the area of the Miami Dolphin run where the Dolphins went undefeated. And they had those three AFC championship appearances and that Shula team back in the day mm-hmm. that won Super Bowls against the Cowboys, the um, Minnesota Vikings, and then I think the Cowboys again. Um, you, They won two Super Bowls and three Super Bowls. They got beat by the Cowboys, but they won, they won two in three years, but three in a row. You're in that shit. You got to validate it, though, here, Tone. You got to punch through here, man. I mean, it, it really is now Super Bowl or nothing. I agree with you 100%. Um, I, I even entered this season. Um, it's Super Bowl or bust. Um, I knew that from the beginning, regardless of how this defense is going to look, regardless of how the off- offense is going to look. or the coaches. Are you shocked where they are 10-1? and one? I am. Yeah, because I actually had them losing. Um, I can't remember what it was. I, I had Two, them three lo- games? I had them losing the Jets game. Like nine and three right now. Probably um, we had. I had them probably like nine and three. Yeah, if they're they're ten and one now, I had them probably being eight and three at this mark. Okay, something like that. Um, I thought I thought they would lose to the Jets. Um, I thought they would. Uh, I I thought they would split with the Cowboys. That still remains to be seen. 
Um, I think I also had them losing to uh, who was on their schedule? KC. KC. I think I had them. I think I had them losing to KC. I I had them. I had them. I had them lose. Actually, this is funny. I had them losing. I had them losing to the Jets. I had them losing to Miami. I think. Um, and then with Rodgers. With Rodgers. This is this is all with Rodgers, right? You know, this, this is all this is all preseason. Um. But the bottom line is, though, they 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 surpassed my expectations. I, I think I actually had them losing this game before the season started. But you know, as everything gets into motion, you know, you start to you know uh, you start to get into the the thick of things. And the fact of the matter is, um, they're ten and one, and they have so far surpassed my expectations because I again the, the schedule is harder. And that's not to say they would have been worse, but the schedule is harder. You know, your your room for error is is, is slimmer. So. Again, I had them maybe eight and three at this mark, maybe nine and two, but they're ten and one. I mean, and the bottom line is, I had them finishing the season, um, at minimum, uh, twelve and five. That's what I had them finishing the season with twelve and five, and they're definitely going to pass that. So, uh, man, I they if they beat the 49ers this Sunday, and it's so crazy how it's Monday, we're already talking about Sunday, but um, if if they beat the 49ers on Sunday, I think they had the end of seat on lock, in my opinion. You're two point underdogs at home at ten and one. Yeah, we're used. Yeah, it ain't nothing new. <laughs> it ain't nothing new. We, you see we were, that? You listen to that sarcastic voice right there. I can, dude. How how can you be two point under? You got to be the first ten and one team in consecutive years to be underdogs going into a game against hey. a team that's lost three ball games. How is that possible? Hey, listen. The Philly Godfather said it best, man. You know, they're 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 it's luck. They're hanging on by a thread. So <laughs> someone has to knock someone has to knock them off, right? I mean, I mean, the Philly, God, the Philly Godfather he puts the money up. You know what I mean? So hey, <coughs> you gotta believe believe the betters, believe Vegas, believe the guys that put the money. Keep believing them, please. Keep believing them. <laughs>